formalizing a classroom and in this lecture we will solve some numerical problems on the hydrostatic forces on submerged bodies so as we discussed in the previous lectures about the horizontal and vertical case I will see some numericals here so that first question I'm saying that suppose there is a water tank here and let's suppose here there is a gate this is gate here and that this is a hinge that gate dimensions that we are saying this is 4 meter into 5 meter this is a rectangular gate so 4 meter is the height of the gate and 5 meter is the width of the gate and let's suppose water is filled in this tank up to this particular level and let I'm saying the height of water above the hinge of the gate is around at 6 meter okay so there's a gate here of the dimension 4 meter into 5 meter and the level of the water above the hinge here is the hinge of the gate this is 6 meter now we want to calculate how much force we required at the bottom of the gate that I'm saying this is P you want to calculate P to hold the gate here in this position because as there is water and due to water there is a hydrostatic force on this gate so this gate will try to open here so to hold the gate in this position we need some load here or force here that is P so we want to calculate this P here so first of all we want to calculate how much hydrostatic force exerted by the water on this gate here so that here if I'm saying we know this is the free surface of fluid and let this is the press intensity diagram here this is the press intensity diagram over the gate here or oh, let's take a better look here if I'm this is our tank and around here is gate okay this is our gate here so width of the gate is 5 meter and height of the gate is 4 meter and the level of water of the top edge or over the hinge this is that 6 meter okay so in this case just a minute so the pressure varying from the free surface of fluid is let it look like this one over here and it is here and it is varying like that okay so this is the variation of pressure on the gate so in this case we want to calculate the first of all hydrostatic force exerted by this fluid on this gate so we know the formula that is hydrostatic force F will be equals to W A Y C here W is the specific weight of water so this is water A is the area of gate I think area of the gate is 4 into 5 and Y C Y C is the distance of center of gravity of the gate from the free surface of fluid so obviously the height of gate here is 4 meter so we can say that that is around here is the center of gravity of this gate okay and obviously in this case this is a rectangular gate so from the hinge the distance of center of gravity is 2 meter so the YC YC is the distance of center of gravity of this body or this gate from the free surface so from the free surface we can say that the distance of center of gravity is 2 meter plus 6 meter so this is our YC 
okay and this is 6 plus 2 that is 8 meter so we know w is 9810 newton per meter cube area of the gate is 4 into 5 okay this is 20 meter square and yc is 8 meter so here the force exerted by this fluid on this gate will be equals to so we can write f is equals to 9810 into 20 that is area into 8 so let me calculate this one so this value is 9810 into 20 into 8 so this is 1569.6 kN okay so this is 1569.6 kN so this is the force exerted by this fluid over this gate so what is the point of action of this force so in this case the point of action we can calculate by using the concept of center of pressure so obviously the force will act at the center of pressure so let around I'm saying here this force is acting that this is F here and obviously this distance or the distance of center of pressure from the free surface is yp so to calculate yp we know the formula that is yp is equals to yc plus ic by ayc okay so we know the yc yc is 8 here so ic ic is what ic is the area moment of inertia of this gate about this self axis this one okay about this one this is the area moment of inertia so i think in this case i see for the gate will become this is 5 into 4 cube by 12 this is bs cube by 12 so here h is 4 b is 5 here so bs cube by 12 is the i c here so what is this value so just a minute so this is 5 into 4 cube by 12 so this is 26.67 this is 26.67 meter power 4 okay we also know the area so we can write ic is 26.67 divided by area is 20 into 8 okay so here the yp becomes just a minute, so let me calculate this one so this is divided by 20 into 8 plus 8 so this is 8 point so yp is equals to 8.167 meter so again you can notice here yp is larger than yc so yc is 8 meter this is 8.167 meter okay so this is the distance of center of pressure from the free surface okay so this is the force acting here at the center of pressure and this force will try to open the gate and the gate will rotate about this hinge okay so this force is creating a moment about the hinge here so we want to calculate that moment so that I'm using this space here so this force and we need a distance of center of pressure from the hinge okay so I think we know the YP and I think YP minus the 6 meter will provide us this distance that is the distance of central pressure from the hinge here so this will be equals to so that if I'm saying this is Y this one so Y is the distance of central pressure from the hinge so this will be equals to so YP is 8.167 minus 6 meter so this is 2.167 meter okay so y is known so f into this y is creating anti-clockwise moment here and to hold the gate we need to create equal moment but clockwise direction 
so we are applying a load p of force p at the bottom of the gate and the distance of bottom of gate from the hinge is 4 meter okay so if we will balance the moments then we will get how much force we require to hold the gate in this position so by moment balancing we can write that is f into y this is anti clockwise moment will be equals to p into 4 4 is the distance of load or force from the hinge so we know f is equals to what so f is 1569.6 10 to power 3 into y y is 2.167 will be equals to p is unknown into 4 so p will be equals to so let me calculate this one so this is 1569600 into 2.167 divided by 4 so this value is this value is 850.33 kilo newton okay so this much force is required to hold the gate in this position okay so this is the one example we'll check one more example here so let i'm extending this problem And now let's suppose we have a tank here again same tank I'm taking the same problem but in a different way this is our tank here and here is the hinge of the gate and this is our gate dimension of the gate is 4 meter into 5 meter okay and water up to this point or let I'm saying in this case the tank is closed and water is filled completely here but in this case this water is pressurized but the sense of pressurized water so let's suppose here the top is edge of the tank is 6 meter above the hinge now this I'm saying this water is press as water means the pressure gauge mounted over this tank is indicating a reading of that 15 kilopascal pressure so in our previous problem the tank was open to atmosphere and there was a free surface of water but in this case the tank is closed and the water is pressurized and the pressure reading is 15 kilopascal here so obviously in this case this is not the free surface of water and at this surface of water the pressure is 15 kilopascal so obviously in this case the variation of pressure over the tank wall will look like this one It will look like this one this value is 15 kilopascal okay now to solve this type of problem so as we know that is our YC and YP both are the distances we are measuring from the free surface of fluid and this is not free surface of fluid in this case So that's why we first have to find out where is the free surface of fluid in this case so to find out that free surface of fluid or liquid or this water in that case we have to convert this 15 kilopascal in terms of water head means we simply want to calculate how much of pressure height above this layer of water that will create 15 kilopascal at this layer of water so we can say that we know the pressure that is 15 kilopascal so 15 into 10 is to power 3 is the pressure and we need the water height so we can write 
rho of water into g into h of water and we want to calculate h of water so this will be equals to 15 into 10 raised to power 3 rho of water is 1000 this is 9.81 so this is 9810 so this value will be equals to estimate this is 15 kilopascal divided by 9810 so this value will be equals to 1.529 or roughly I'm taking that this is 1.53 meter so to create 15 kilopascal pressure at this layer of water the required of required height of the water above this level is 1.53 so let I'm um, considering this tank is not closed but I'm considering this one and the water level is up to this point okay this is the water level up to this point and this height is equals to 1.53 meter okay now after calculating this height here is the free surface of water this is the free surface of water now our problem is same as the previous problem but in this case the free surface of water is not 6 meter above the hinge it's 7.53 meter above the hinge okay and again if we want to calculate the force required to hold the gate here then we can calculate what is yc so this is the center of gravity here so we can calculate yc in that case we will calculate yc from this side this level this is yc and around here is the yp where the total hydrostatic force will act okay so this will act so this is center of pressure so this will become the yp like this and you can solve this problem by moment balance in this case obviously in this case the hydrostatic force f will be different because the yc is different the gate area will remain same the specific weight of water is same so force will be equals to w a y c so in this case y c is equals to so this is 2 meter the center of gravity of the gate from the hinge is 2 meter this is 6 meter and this is 1.53 meter so 2 plus 6 that is 8 and this is 1.53 so this is 9.53 meter in this case okay this value is 9.53 meter in this case in the previous case yc was 8 meter and similarly similarly we can calculate yp and after calculating the yc and yp so after calculating yc we can calculate what is the force and by the use of yp we can balance the system and we can calculate easily f into so y is what y is the distance of this hydrostatic force from the hinge and i'm taking this is y here so we can write f into y and this moment will be equals to p into 4 and from here we can calculate how much force is required to hold this gate in this position when this tank is pressurized okay so i think the problem is clear in the next lecture we'll discuss about the inclined case and in that inclined case we will discuss about the hydrostatic force and the center of pressure for that inclined plane surface and how much force exerted by the fluid on the inclined plane surface if you like the lecture please subscribe the channel and take care of yourself and thanks for watching